Hello friends, welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. In this video, you will learn how to use slot filling or parameter filling in Dialogflow CX to get some information from the user and then you can perform action based on the filled parameter. So let's get started. First, let's take a look at what we are building. We are building an appointment scheduling boat where user will start the conversation with hi, then he will say schedule an appointment and then user will provide the day and the time. And here the day and time we will use parameter filling or slot filling to capture these two information and then we will move forward into the flow or page in Dialogflow CX agent. I am here in my Dialogflow CX console and I have selected a project and I have a YouTube demo agent. I'll go into that. At this point, there is nothing into this boat. So first I'll create uh, an intent which will be like uh, redirect redirect schedule appointment and appoint appointment uh, schedule appointment yeah i'll just keep these two training phrases since uh, this is for demonstration purpose only so i'll go to build i create a new flow now uh, let's say uh, appointment inside this appointment flow I'll create a new page uh, get information and let's say thank you thank you for uh, ending the conversation so here in the default start flow I'll go and I'll add another route and I'll select the intent, redirect, schedule appointment. I'll leave uh, agent say as it is and I'll select the flow and I'll move to appointment flow. Yeah, that's it, I think. And there is a sample page here, which I have created for another video. I'll delete that since I don't need it at this point. Now. Now I'll go here inside appointment here in the start. I will create another route. I'll use a custom expression and I'll say this true. So whenever we hit this appointment route, it will show this and I'll move to the page get information and I'll save this. Now we are here in the get information. So let's write something like we are at the get information page. And when I save it and when I try to test it and when I say appointment, oh, sorry. I, appointment yeah so we got the response we are at the get information page so here i'll say like uh, we will ask you some information about the meeting before we schedule it and I'll save it. Now I'll use parameter. My first parameter will be my day. Uh, that will be, let's say system date and I'll select require and in agent say, I'll say, please provide the day for the meeting. I'll save it. So let's test it one by one appoint 
meant oh sorry yeah i need to reset that let's say uh point meant yeah so it will say we will ask you some information about the meeting before we schedule it and it will say please provide the day for the meeting so it's okay up to this then let's say i'll say time and this will be uh, system time let's say and i'll say uh, please provide uh, a time for the meeting and i'll save this when we write agent says here that means if this parameter is not filled boot will uh, prompt this uh, statement now here in the routes i'll add another route i'll use custom expression and i'll say dollar page dot params dot status equals to final this statement means when these two parameters are filled move to this route so here we will move to the flow thank you and i'll save this so now thank you is attached here and here in the thank you i'll say hey like uh, i got all the information in for mission needed to book the appointment appointment and i'll save this so hopefully now when i test the entire flow let me reset this and i say appointment it will say please provide the day for the meeting let's say tomorrow please provide the time let's say 5 pm so it will say hey i got all the information needed to book the appointment and if we go here we can see day and time is filled okay and here from this information we can use that uh, we can we can you know get this information on webhook and we can schedule the appointment as well and also there is a yeah there is a original response and you can you know use this to understand the request and response from a webhook as well so i guess this is it from this video i hope you have gained some knowledge out of this video if you face any issue following this tutorial please write comment in the video i'll get back to you as soon as possible uh thank you for watching peace